Skip. These little eat all the treats. They just eat the treats. And then I want to do like a housing right here. On the wheel today. Okay. The time has come. It's time to spin. Let them go. What is going on, Kaferos? Welcome back to another video. Look at all the pigs coming out of the house. See them all? It's raining out. We got the side of the yard done, last video. I left the hose on again last night, gosh darn it. With the rain, that's the worst. Cause now look, everything's flooded. At least just right here. This all stays dry unless it's raining, but when I leave the hose on, all this gets all flooded. Hello everyone, they're all so clean right now from the rain. Hey buddy, here comes mama. We got the mallard, that's the one we rescued. Kevin! All of our Pekin ducks. Gary. Spin the wheel, indeed, yes. No, I hope not. I really hope not. So, there's a bunch of different animals that will be on the wheel today. In today's video, we're doing the spin the wheel challenge. We've done multiple on this channel. Every single one of them do fairly well. Ducks goes for, you know, another Gary, Pekin ducks. Mascovi ducks, mallard, all different types of ducks. We also have pigs on the list. We already have uh, we already have 18 pigs, but we always have room for more. Another enclosure over there with two big ones. We have the goat enclosure over here, this big enclosure that goes all the way around, the duck enclosure, and of course the hog enclosure over there. You can see the hogs. Regardless of the outcome in today's video, it's gonna be a fun one, and these animals are not gonna shut up until I feed them. I'm gonna turn the camera around. <laughs> You can just see how much quieter it is already just by these guys all eating. The water's really, really low. Fish jumping over here. Look at him, look at him. So many big tilapia in there. The good thing about that pond is it's deep. It's like depth. Look at them all. Look at that. Inside the pig food right now, I have these little heart treats. There you go, buds. Mixed in with the food. It's just a little treat for them all. So dang cute. The little family right here. Look at Rosie's curly tail. She has a little curl on her tail. So does Buttercup. Skip. You literally eat all the treats. They just eat the treats and then they go back and eat the grain. Boots. Boots is with his homies. Although it's drizzling out, it's really not wet enough to soak his cast, so. Hey, bud. Here she comes. Lady May. Hey, girl. So I've been actually filming the whole feeding session every single day on the farm because I've noticed all y'all watching, the Kaferos love the feeding time. I could I could film it a hundred times in a row. Y'all still would watch every second of it. So I'm just gonna film it like almost every time I do it now. Not every time, obviously I don't film every day, but a lot of the time I do it, I'll film it because I know you guys love to see it. So you get to half a scoop, kind of cutting down on their diet a little bit. So you have Lady May here and Mango over there. Both rescued pigs. This one from Naples at like 2 a.m. And this guy from down south in Miami. The people were moving out of their house. See how she doesn't let him eat? Stop it. Lady May, leave him. I have 18 children, plus goats, plus ducks. I have a lot of kids at the age of 19. Come over here, Mango. There you go. Boats, you savage, bro. This thing's jumping all over this thing with a broken leg. You're an absolute maniac, dude. You're gonna break it again when I get it off. Golly, man. Thing is crazy. I don't know if I got it. I literally started the clip right as he was jumping. Oh, man, a corn mixture, a little bit of corn in there, too. They got a good diet. Goats. Three little rascals. It's like three kids, and then you got Mama Goat over here. She just waits for her kids to eat. You know what's really cool is this goat right here isn't even the real mom of the goat. The real mom passed away exactly one month, the day of one month after the birth of the three babies. We have no idea why. Probably some sort of birth thing. But that mom took over. And she literally cuddles them at night. It's the cutest thing ever. She's literally stepmom, but but real mom. Yeah, she's literally protective of them. Animals are similar to humans in many ways. I tell you what, actually way better than humans. Humans are, ugh. So I thought of a video idea. I don't know if I'm gonna get the amount of likes I asked for, but I said 20,000 likes on my last post. I think I said 24 actually. For 24 hours in the middle of this pond on that piece of wood that floats. If you wanna see me do it, go to my last upload and like it. Or just like this one. If this one hits 24,000, I'll do it with this one too. Have like Taylor come out and bring me like pizza and stuff so I could actually survive. Floating in the middle of my pond. 
for 24 hours. I can't get off. Think that'd be a good idea? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, without further ado, all the animals are fed. I wanted to show you that. The hogs ate as well, by the way. I will see you inside at the wheel. Here we are, we're inside now at the wheel. I love this thing, just the, the sound is so satisfying. On the wheel today, we have number one, I'm gonna start with the free spin. This is just like if you land on it, you get to spin again, or yeah, it's just you spin again. Okay, I don't know why I have it there, honestly, I never really realized that. Next one is a turtle. We have a lot of turtles all around the house, but this time if we land on this, I wanna get a big turtle. So maybe like a big yellow belly slider, something big for the outside pond out there by the ducks that you just saw. Next, pig. We don't need any more of these, but if we land on it, you know, I'm always down to get another pig. Make it 19, it says, by the way, because I have 18 pigs outside. It's crazy. By the way, let me, I want all these animals. So I'm not just putting animals on the thing and I'm not prepared for it, and I'm just putting them on there. If I land on them, I'm getting them. These are animals that, you know, that I want. If I land on a baby cow, I'm not gonna go buy it today. I will just save this footage until I'm ready for a baby cow. You get what I'm saying? Okay, anyway, back to the, the wheel. Duck, this, Right here is what I want. Personally, I want. Now, now, I'd say baby cow. I want a baby cow. Just look how cute this is. You see how cute that is? Baby cows. I'm getting them regardless if I land on them here today for that side of the property. Next one, bunny. Everyone comments about me getting a bunny. I don't know what it is. I see so many comments, get a bunny, get a hamster as well. I don't know why. Bunny is a big thing, so I decided to put it on the wheel today. If we land on it, we land on it. Fair. My mom has a ferret, they're super cute, so if we land on that, ferret. And now, the almighty baby cow. I had to put it on the wheel just because if I land on it, I have a very good reason to get it. Um, I want two of them actually. They're super cute, although right now I'm not ready. I will just save this footage if I land on that because I need to build like some sort of housing out there for them and then build that cage up. Let me go explain. This side of the yard right here, we just got it done. Last video, I mentioned that earlier on. You saw the drone footage. This is all caged in. We got a gate right there. There'll be a gate right in the middle right there and then a gate right there and then also a big gate down there. But all this will be, you know, sod. There's a pond in it for drinking and, you know, soaking themselves. And then I want to do like a housing right here. Not anything crazy, just like an overhang, you know, where they can go if it's raining or if it's too hot, they have somewhere to get shade. That's the hole for the post, by the way. It's kind of cool looking, huh? But this whole area, all this, massive, look at that. Baby cows, that's where they'll go. That's the whole fun of the wheel. Last time we did the wheel, I put like stingrays and stuff on it. I always put crazy stuff on the wheel. Just so if we land on it, we land on it. I know a lot of you guys love the spin the wheel series, so I continue it on every time. Let's go inside and do just that, spin the wheel. So the rules are pretty self-explanatory. Spin the wheel, we're gonna literally just spin it and whatever we land on, we will then go and get. We're only getting one thing off this wheel. Typically we do more than one. In this case, we're gonna just do one. Okay, the time has come. It's time to spin. Taylor wants the bunny. I want the duck, because I love ducks and I want more ducks. Ducks, bunny, what do you want? You at home, watching, comment down below in the comment section what you want. <laughs> Got him. You know, it's great to take a dub. It's great. I love taking dubs, but we're going to get a duck. See you there. Oh, where am I? 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 What was that? Oh, oh, something was going on in there. Anyway, uh, <laughs> The next day, by the way, uh, we were searching on Craigslist, Facebook, a bunch of different places that we could find ducks, and we found eight ducks, four different species of two. So there's four different species of ducks, and there's two of each. So eight ducks, super cool, because I've wanted a lot more ducks here recently. I've been wanting more ducks, so it worked out perfectly. It's been raining all day, all day. Today was the day we were supposed to get the tropical storm. I don't know if it's still coming or not, but it's been raining all day. I got everything I need back here. Cage, another cage. I think that cage should fit most of them though. I hope at least if not we can put them in the back of the truck and get poop all over, but we're heading to the duck location right now. So I'll see you there. Hopefully they let me film. If not, you'll see ducks. This is a, yeah, this is a really cool enclosure. Oh, listen, they have, they have um, a fan inside their house. They had lights in there at night. Oh. I mean, 
We really love our ducks. Yeah. Like we're so sad to get rid of them, but we travel. And we we spoil them just as bad as we spoil our dogs. Uh -huh. Yeah, this we is awesome. Dogs. This is so is cool. So this is yeah. cool. Hey, everyone. Hello, my boy. Look at them all. This is Diesel. Hi, Diesel. Diesel. Love that one. <laughs> hey, Diesel. Beautiful. Hey, buddy. Look at them all. You got a big old pond you guys are going to love and lots of friends. Look at them all. All right, I'm, I'm going to try it. Uh-oh. Diesel got out. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on getting all these into the cages. <laughs> Buddies. I'm gonna tuck them up closer so the wind is in his back. Yeah. They gave us this custom house as well. I gotta assemble it, gotta put it all together. Um, but that's super cool of them. So I'll just leave the door open and let them go in at night. But look at this. Look at them all. They're so cute. I know it's a little scary right now. I've rescued many ducks. It's cool to go to the person's house that's getting rid of an animal and tell them that they can watch them and see them every single day on YouTube. And then not only that, they live 10 minutes from us, so we just say, hey, feel free to come over like Mango's owner whenever you want. It's a good feeling. I know dang right if I was getting rid of an animal and I heard that from the following person I was giving the animal to, I'd be happy myself. So they're super stoked by giving these ducks to us in specific. I can't wait to put these into the enclosure of my ducks. It's gonna be awesome. I don't know how my ducks are gonna react. They're probably like, whoa, that's a lot of different animals. They have names for all of these. Look at the little afro heads. It's so funny. I remember this guy, the biggest one's name is Diesel. He's a beast. We're back home. I actually backed the truck up under the garage because it's raining out right now and I can't film out there with this camera. So we got all the ducks kind of hanging out here, not getting too wet. So I'll see you when the rain stops. I'm just, I won't do that to you again. All right, the rain is not going to stop. I got to get this done because um, I can't keep ducks in a cage for that long. That's why I resorted to filming with the GoPro. And I'm excited to get these in. I got to get this cage out of here. Here we go. Let them go. Into their new enclosure. Go, buddy. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Woo! Look at them. They kind of mixed in already. This is most of them right here. Now, in the beginning, they're going to keep their distance, stay in their own pack, because that's what they're used to. Same thing my ducks do every time I get new ones. Oh, they're all cleaning themselves. Oh, there's so many ducks in here now. Look at this. They're all together already. Sweet, mission complete. Spin the wheel challenge, another one down. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure you drop a like for more spin the wheel stuff just like this. And if you wanna see me sit on this for 24 hours straight. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.